Five out of seventy-eight. They don't slack on these games with the num with the uh, sheer number of uh, sub stories, do they? Although I think they they do seem to be going by faster than in this game than they did last time around. So I think I did the last Majima thing wrong in that yeah, it's still there. So I I, I either misread it or misread the clues. Because he seemed to be all like, you better not be carrying a weapon now. And then I thought I thought he said don't carry a weapon, which I think he did. But I think you might have been expected to defy him and carry a weapon anyway. G1. I have so many of these now. Huh. So I think I'm going to want to get a weapon. The question is, do I want to specifically hunt down or, and purchase a weapon, or do I just want to hang out and do stuff and see when a weapon find its, finds its way into my inventory. Because last time around, that just kind of tended to happen, honestly. Do you guys stop noticing me all the time? Uh oh Might be stuck. Oh. Oh. Going for it. Run, 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 run. You can't catch me! Everyone's always trying to fight me. On sight. Here you is bad at being... secret. I go to West... Let's go to West Park. That's one of the main loose ends I have waiting for me right now. We'll see if anything interrupts me along the way or not. But West Park is where the collector's supposed to be. Another one. G2. How many of these are there? Because I've got a lot of them now. Probably get even more if I had the thing that, like, vibrates when one's nearby. Which I assume is still in the... Oh, I should spend those points, actually. Maybe after I do the collector quest, since it's, like, right here. Oh, I was not going to sneak my way past those guys in time. Hello. Ooh, so many bicycles. Bad news. I bring you bad tidings. Oof. Dodging back. Two for one. That's great. Such a satisfying combat system. It's silly and over the top and ridiculous and kind of stiff and awkward at times. But it's just really satisfying. No, I just did one of these. It's been like 10 seconds. Listen, I can only find so many plants in the environment to beat you with. Ow! It's just so much faster to do that. <laughs> Hello. Combo. Oh, hey, it's over. Well, that's convenient. Thanks for the XP. Now I'm at almost two. It's garbage change, but it's something, I suppose. Definitely doing things that matter matters more. That was a really stupid sentence. Oh, things matter when they matter, huh? Here's the West Park entrance. Now to find the suited man. That can't be him. It must be someone else. That must be him. <laughs> shiny? Shiny. There's no shiny in this whole place? Huh. Good. Hey. Be the debt collector. You must be the one we were just on the phone with. Uh. Yeah, that's me. We've been waiting for you. Do you have the past due amount of 240,000 yet on you? Nope. I don't have that kind of money. Also, yeah. I don't owe you that kind of money. Huh? So what you're saying is you have no plans to pay us back. Yeah. I don't remember ever borrowing 240,000 yen anyway. Hey, for a dumbass debtor trying to default on his debt, you've got a pretty cocky attitude. Even a kid knows when they have to give back what they borrow. I told you, I never borrowed anything. Fine. You don't plan to pay up? I'll just have to beat the money out of you. Look at all the manga books down there. Somebody is homeless, but they have manga. Wait, he's not even in the stand, so now he is. For a while there, he was just, like, looking at me. And I was concerned. Oh, I thought I could- oh wait, I guess, I guess he was getting up already. Ow. Try again. 
Oh, yeah? What's this guy's deal? His strength is insane. Hmm. Figured you were just a scam artist. Now listen up. What is it? Tell your boss you better not ever waste my time with another one of these stupid calls ever again. Uh, uh, of course not. I'll tell him right away. Here, take this. Just please let me go. The Kura Storm. Wait, that's a sword. Wow. That's really convenient, actually. Man, con artists are getting more and more creative with these ridiculous scams. I don't want to assume everyone's trying to scam me, but that's practically where we're at now, isn't it? I wonder if these really specific scenarios... Ooh, 5,000 experience. I wonder if these really specific scenarios for Majima count as, uh, side stories. Alright, that's a taxi. I don't need taxis. I've got legs. And also, I, I'm hoping to encounter tons of side quests as we go around. Hopefully. I'm wondering if the Majima quest where he's like, Come fight me! I'm in a cop costume! Isn't this crazy? And stuff like that. I wonder if he, uh... If that's a side- if that's a sub-story, too. Because that would- that would account for a certain number of the total. Oh, that's not a quest. They were conspicuous for the wrong reasons! There's so many people just off in a direction, staring somewhere. This place usually has stuff, actually. Does anyone stand out? Can you- I wonder if you can still go in the same places? I don't think you can. I think the bars from the previous game are closed off. Up. Shellac. The same bar that the private investigator was at? No, nah, it looks backward. No, this might be it. Welcome. Drinking that one. Kind of picked it at random, honestly. I don't understand alcohol. A remarkable specimen from Brantz. XOXO won top prize in the worldwide cognac test. Is it cognac? I think it's cognac. Oh my god, look at those discs. They have discs for their their stereo. Wait, this is the 2000s and they still have... They're still using... Oh, what? Well, it's mid-2000s. I guess people are still using CDs. Nowadays, it'd be a little weirder. Although, I think I see duplicates? Yeah. The use of high-quality grapes from borderies to create the... <laughs> gives it depth, and it's still remarkably smooth. You can't talk about cognacs without giving... Having drank this, this at least once. I'll have all of it right now. Am I alcoholing correctly? Yay, experience! Sir, would you like another drink? No. What a shame. Please come back soon. That's what I do. I just try walk into every bar, take one shot, then leave. Then walk to another bar, and then fight 17 people. And then assault a police officer that I'm pretty sure is not a police officer, but who knows for sure? <laughs> oh. Vibrate? Why vibrate? Is that just me? Is that I'm in my vibrating kind of man right now? Now that I'm getting drunk? Yeah, I'm, vibra I'm actually vibrating a lot now. That's weird. The last game gave you completionism on the on the various, uh... Where would I go for the CP? It's like, ah, shit. Kind of lost it now. I'll just go meet with Majima with my Sakura Storm. Does it storm instead of storm? Great. Uh, last game was like, what's your completion rating? And it would give you a completion rating on each store, basically. What? Is, why are they both doing golf across the road from each other? That's not a quest or anything. Uh, but in this game, they give you some incentive for it because the food gives you uh, experience bonuses. So you might as well. Although I probably don't, wouldn't want to fight Majima drunk, but here we go. What could go wrong, right? Alright. Let's spend some experience real quick. You can upgrade abilities. More health is always good. We can get a few of those. Wounded Mastery. Did I have something really major I was going for? Let's see. Boost your attack significantly when your health is full. 
Guarded weapon change, quadruple... There's so many things in this game. Yeah, the knockdown grab was the main thing I wanted, and then we have that now, thankfully. Charge attack, hold triangle. I can go for that. And go for some health. That looks like a thing. Let's go, let's get back to that in a bit, in a moment. Majima. Maji, Maji, Maji. This is where we pretend to be surprised about the same thing that happened before. Oh, oh never mind, it's new dialogue. He's just like disappointed by the appearance of Majima. <laughs> you can't escape from me! Time to check Kiryu-chan for any suspicious items, spread them. Hey, show me the goods already. Fine, here. And here I was worried I'd have to skip through the dialogue to get to the part where something changes, but nope. That means I have to do multiple di writings of the dialogue for some of these stories. It's really cr- that's always attention to de detail. What do you got here? This is some contraband shit, Kiryu-chan. You're out! Uh, he found it. Huh? Not good, Kiryu-chan. What were you thinking walking around in public like a with a dangerous item like this? As an officer of the law, I gotta make sure you pay for your crimes. It's in my very moral my very moral fiber. Mm -hmm. What? That from the very beginning you were trying to. I told you, didn't I, Kiryu-chan? If I can give you a proper reason, you'll have to fight me. Fine then, bring it on. Oh, he's got his bat. Oh, I miss you. I miss his bat so much. It was great having that bat. I want it back. Give me that bat. Give me that bat. But also give me you. I want your bat. Ow, he recovered immediately. That did not work out in my favor. He'll be fine. He's not fine. Oh my god, I miss Majima's moveset so much now. Oh, the Slugger set was great. I can't say he took it very well. Wow, I just crushed him. <laughs> uh, fighting you was the only choice I had, but I haven't fought like that in a while. Huh. Yeah, looks like you're on the way to regaining what you lost. All you got, all that my hard work is paying off with sweet, sweet returns. We've only fought like twice, but don't get cocky. You ain't your old self by a long shot. Your ten-year gap was a massive ravine you still gotta cross. Mm -hmm. You're gonna keep doing this? Huh? Damn straight. Until I get the man worthy of being called the Dragon of Dojima that I want to fight, then you're gonna be in my sights. <sighs> Seriously. <laughs> How am I gonna force you to fight me next time? <laughs> Just the thought of it gets me fired up. He has a point. Majima-san's constant interruptions are making me regain my old strength. Maybe these fights are inevitable. Still, if I ever plan on carrying a weapon, I better be careful that so Majima-san doesn't find out. Hey, rank up. Now we just gained F rank. Learned Essence of Mad Dog, Dagger. Let's find out what that means. I don't know what that means. Also, let's go get some more health. Majima's main attack using his signature dagger technique. Okay. But then I have it? I guess so. So I have a signature dagger technique I can use during Dragon of Dojima and... Thug style? Or Slugger style? What are we, call, what are we calling blue this time? And then we have the dragon kick, the running triangle. We're slowly getting movesets for this thing, but I'm gonna have to beat up Majima a lot. 
Oh, better get to it. Who are these two talking? They look important. What's what's going on here? I saw a little girl walking around all by herself. Seriously? How old was she? No idea. But no, no older than elementary school. That's so dangerous. Her parents should be ashamed. Ah, uh, it's probably the girl from the cutscene we saw earlier. Which is to say, not a side quest, but probably important main stuff even later on. Oh, excuse me, young man. I need to speak with you. What is it? It's about Stardust. My friend had a bad time there, so I'd like to file a complaint. What's that got to do with me? I'm not sure what that has to do with me. You mean you don't work there? A guy in an outfit like that? Sorry, you assumed wrong. Maybe I should just humor it. Is this a thing? I'm curious. What's wrong? Can you tell me what happened? Well, this young host kept pushing my friend to drink too much, and now she owes a ton of money. Yeah, I heard that's a pretty common problem now. I know that, but I still feel bad for the poor girl. You need to tell your manager right away. If you're going to flash your cash in town like this, you'd better be prepared for someone to come at it. Nope, there's really no follow-up on that one. Can I go inside here? Nope. I'm... I'm guessing the Millennium Tower is going to turn out to be kind of important. Probably. Oops. I'm always under attack! Ah! Calm down, I'm just looking for a strange clown to take my money. My imaginary CP money. That's definitely not actually money. Hey, I've got an idea. You ever heard of Pocket Circuit? Huh? Pocket circuit? Hmm, that sounds vaguely familiar, but... Oh, you remember. It's those little cars you can put in motors and race. You can put motors in and race. It was such a big fad in the 80s. Reference to Yakuza Zero, existing mechanics. Oh yeah, my older brother used to have one, and he loved tinkering with all the little parts. Well, it's making a comeback. There's a pocket circuit stadium just west of... Sh uh, Shichifuku Street. Want to go? Sure. I want to make my vehicle really cute. I used to play Pocket Circuit a long time ago, so it's still popular, huh? Maybe I'll drop by the stadium. Joke's on you, I didn't play it a single time in all of Yakuza 0. It's like the giant blind spot of my playthrough as I never even slightly touched that side quest chain. Dear Lord, there was so much content in that game. My 70 episode playthrough was not nearly enough to cover it. Maybe one day. That's a dangerous thought, though, thinking, of, like, maybe one day I'll get around to revisiting the game I already get a finale of to play bonus quests in, as opposed to the several other sequels in the series. There was a giant pink... Yeah. That's what I thought. I'm like, there's a giant pink butterfly on the floor, right? They're back? Wait... Now they're called insect cards, even though they're clearly still the women from before. It's a Hercules beetle. She's just It's just a woman in a bikini, but then she has the beetle on her head. What's this? A drawing of a woman in a swimsuit wearing a, some sort of weird headgear? Drat, where'd it go? I worked so hard to get that card. No. He's wearing a lab coat? <laughs> um, excuse me, sir? Have you seen a Meisu King card nearby? Meisu King, the Queen of Beetles? Are we make- Are we making fun of the, uh... The collectible cards from the last game? That were like telegram cards? Hmm? Meisu King? What? You don't know Meisu King, mister? How is that even possible? Even toddlers know about Mesu King. Um, what? Is this gonna be like Pokemon, but all the Pokemon are women in bikinis? <laughs> it's called Battle Bug Beauties Mesu King, and it's just as popular as Pocket Circuit among kids. It's. I just ran into the constant Pocket Circuit like 30 seconds ago, kid. Listen, 
I'm, 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 my mind's about to get blown when I find out about how smartphones exist now. Fairies dress up as insects and battle it out in the forest. It's exciting and super cool. So it's like putting a rhinoceros beetle and a stack beetle together and watch them fight? <laughs> I had that as a kid. Anyways, I just got this really rare insect card. I was so happy that I started running around all excited with it, and then I guess I dropped it somewhere. A card, huh? It couldn't be that weird swimsuit woman card I found, could it? That can't be this kid's Mesa King thing. Time to take a weird risk. It's gonna be super inappropriate, isn't it? Is this the card you're looking for? Wow, yes, this is it. Thank you so much, mister. No problem. Try not to drop your cards anymore. I can't believe this is a kid's game. Children are so much more mature these days, aren't they? Oh, mister? You've never played Mesa King, right? No. Never even heard of it before. <laughs> then you should come by Club Seika sometime. You can usually find me there. I'll teach you how to play Mesa King. So thank you for finding my card. Mesa King's a game that that's all the rage among kids, huh? Guess I can stop by when I got some time to play. Oh my god, don't tell me this game has a Gwent. Oh god, I can't look away. <laughs> As I suction cup into the doorway, it's like... <laughs> oh no, there's horse people slapping each other. I can't... Th I, after this new season of BoJack, I can't look at that and be like, Yay, funny joke! Ha ha! Ha ha! No, don't. Don't make me play UFO Catcher again. Oh, God damn it! Do you even realize how much money I've spent on this stupid UFO catcher? I bet the thing's rigged so it can't be won. Yeah. No, I assure you we don't do that here, sir. Huh? Oh, yeah? Then why can't I get it? Mm. He's so loud, I can't focus on my game. What, you were already playing? Kiryu, you have a problem. You have a problem, Kiryu, and it needs to be worked out. Oh, my goodness. It's getting pretty noisy. Is there a problem here? Welcome. I'm very sorry about the noise bothering you. This, uh, this customer is upset that he hasn't won any UFO catcher prizes. Hello, Tails. I see you down there, and I'm looking at the background. There's Quest Aft version 2. The key of Avalon 2. Is everything the second? Oh, wait, that might not be a 2. That might be a Japan part. Yeah, that's part of the Japanese symbol that looks like it's, looks like a number 2. I've spent over 10,000 yen, and I've got nothing. I feel like it's not even possible to win something. Ah, so that's what's going on. Oh, there's Virtua Fighter in the background. That's just an actual game. Or, I don't know if Evolution was a real Virtua Fighter game, but that's definitely a real series. I mostly know because they showed up in a Dead or Alive at one point. Uh, Dragon Treasure... MJ2? I'm trying to look at these posters here. There's so many of them. Ah, uh, so that's what's going on. What do you want so badly? The white bunjan. Bunjan? Ah, uh, yeah, it's a bunch oak bird. A stuffed white java sparrow. So, my little girl keeps asking for a white bunjan. Says she wants it more than anything in the whole world. Your daughter sounds pretty demanding. <laughs> well, you see... She's not exactly my daughter, per se, but he, she does call, like to call me her daddy, so... Uh... Don't make me say that stuff out loud, it's embarrassing! So you're determined because your daughter begged you. Yeah, it's rare that she asks for something, of course. When she does, it's not money or something I could just buy. I think these types of games just come naturally to some people. Some are naturally good, others are naturally bad. Oh, I know. If you happen to get a hold of a white Bunchan doll, could you let me have it? Many. What? Please. I need that white Bunchan, no matter the cost. I'm begging you. Don't be stupid. Why would I want to do that for you? Because I'll pay you loads of money for it. Please. Also, you're a video game protagonist. You have, like, some sort of mental defect that drives you to do these things. Mm. Sorry, but I don't have time- I don't have that stuffed animal. Mm. Oh, really? He just leaves. That's the end of the conversation. 
Hey, there's a is that a Sonic the Hedgehog ATM? Oh, it's a quarter dispenser, right? That makes more sense because it's an arcade or token dispenser. I don't. Do they use do they use coins or tokens usually in Japanese arcades? Those are just straight up screenshots of Virtua Fighter games. Yep. Recognize most of the characters. And that's because it's another Sega property. I could never play Virtua Fighter. The combos are like the most unintuitive thing ever out of any fighter game, fighting game I've ever played. I've always been way more interested in playing uh, Smash Brothers, Power Stone, Soul Calibur, and Dead or Alive. Not that I'm good at any of them. So it's the white one. Okay. Why am I doing this? Bop, 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 bop. No. That thing is gargantuan. What the hell? This is some hot bullshit. Maybe if I grab it from somewhere further back, like a dodge around the hat a little bit. Did I just grab it in the same spot? I think I did. I'm sorry, dude. You're gonna need a new not daughter, even though it's not your daughter because you're. Lo it's like the escort you picked up somewhere. I'm trying to go further back to see if you can grab it better there. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate this, and I don't care about your problems anymore. Goodbye. I say as I press another- put another quarter in. <laughs> ah, why am I still doing this? Why am I compelled to complete things that happen in games? It's so heavy. How would you- it doesn't even move. The claw doesn't even fit around it. This is... What if it's just actually rigged and this is like a joke? Can I get the special claw that has like spikes on it? It just stabs into the stuffed animal? It's the only way I'm ever gonna win this. This is stupid. This is... This is actually stupid. What the hell? It doesn't even move! If there's a trick to this, I don't know what it is. I would never put real money into one of these. It feels like the trick would be to like, to make it fall off the shelf. And then it would just like roll into the prize thing. Cause you, you, you certainly can't pick it up. There's gotta be like some sort of nonsense solution for it. Okay. Well that's not happening. Hello kid. Oh. Mister, you actually showed up. Uh, yeah. I'm a little curious to see what this Mesa King card game's all about. <laughs> all right. I'm sure it can be appealing to adults, too. Pretty sure it's meant to appeal specifically to adults, but what if it isn't? It could actually be a family game and purely for kids. You can play Mesa King using this machine. The story behind Mesa King is that a good insect fairy, uh, a good insect fairy needs to fight against the bugs that suddenly turn bad. You use four cards to make a deck of an insect card and three skill cards. Insect cards summon an insect into battle, while skill cards are abilities for your insect. They just, this is just them re. Oh my god, I can even recognize the interface in the bottom on the in the corner of the screen. This is just the uh, the girl like wrestling game from the from Yakuza Zero. It recontextualizes some sort of weird video game that, and the joke is how little sense it makes, I guess. So, since he found my card for me the other day, I want to give you this Japanese Rhino Beetle, Face Masher, Omni Choke, Body Slam. Are you sure you want to give me all these? Oh, don't worry. Those are all doubles of cards I have. Besides, I always love making more uh, more friends to play with. I'm not sure I'm ready to play this. I have no clue what kind of game this is. Heh. <laughs> well, that's where I come in. I'm famous around here, 
people know me as Professor Mesu King. I'll teach you everything you need to know. Whenever you get a new card, make sure you show them to me, okay? Professor Mesu King? What a nickname. And let me know if you want to play against me. Uh, sure. Thanks. So, Mesu King. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Even though it's almost definitely the game from last time, which was not particularly interesting. Hey, more experience. Why not? I'll take it. <laughs>